Hi everybody, I'm Blaine Tyler for Fighting Sasquatch coming again from Northeastern Ontario. Okay, um, about a year ago I got a report um, through a comment on one of my videos when I was right in the middle of investigating uh, vocalization heard at a hunting camp. Sasquatch spoke English. It was a mimic, pretty sure. So anyway, I put it on the back burner. Um, also, I I think I replied to her if she had the date or had any pictures and I didn't hear back but um, a lot of things happened in this little uh, report um, I say little just because it was just a comment on my video and um, if it's true then it needs to be documented and needs to put out there needs to be put out there so people know um, for awareness so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post some pictures here of uh, snowmobiles treading through the park and um, I had a video but I couldn't drown out the uh, snowmobile sounds so and then I'm going to narrate um, this report from Catherine Wilson okay All right so the report goes as follows um, I guess it's this time of year midwinter uh, maybe a little earlier but um, she uh, comments that my son went with some friends in a golf park east of South River I guess it's on the west end of the park on skidoos around this time of year they had a very large tree fall right in front of them uh, it was uh, around 10 o'clock at night they said they could smell something really bad when they stopped uh, after the tree fell my son heard uh, a weird yell that sounded kind of like a high-pitched skidoo just because of the volume but not really like a skidoo uh, and you can see a black animal at a distance um, probably not the one pushing over trees obviously he has really good eyesight so it doesn't bother him going out at night skidooing with his friends uh, anyway they continued up the trail and they went up a very large steep hill on their sleds and they came across some strange huts that had weird things on them. I asked what they were and he said, well, it looked like man-made objects like weaving at the entrance of the huts or something. Um, and my son also said at this area, it also smelled really bad. And they, they've been through this area before in the summer, but they never hung around because they always felt strange in this area. So, um, they never really thought of why they just left uh, so they turned around and I guess they went back down the trail and this is when um, something threw a large branch at him on a skidoo while he was driving and almost hit him in the head um, they continued on that was quite scary um, was uh, something actually trying to hit him in the head or just trying to spook them really bad they didn't know but when it got down further on the trail I know the tree was down that wasn't down on the way into the, this area so that really creeped them out so they went around this um, uh, another down tree and they got out of there um, I said my son um, second uh, Bigfoot sighting he's seen another one on the back roads of Huntsville a large black animal on two feet ran across the road while I was driving and he says what they it looked like what people describe as Bigfoot so anyway there's the report um, pretty interesting um, uh, bit of an attack there going on and those are my prints and uh, shelter from a, an area that I used to go to the dunes and uh, I guess they don't go back to this area and she hasn't gotten back to me on uh, time and date or if could give, give me specific location or uh, even some pictures so anyway uh, thanks for watching